Uh, but John, I got right here. I'm talking tonight. We have two lovely guests this evening from uh, the Face the Nation, the host yes. of uh, Face the Nation with Margaret Brennan. Margaret Brennan is going to be out here Margaret in just a moment. In the house. Yeah, yeah, Margaret. Uh, the lovely and talented Adam Scott is going to be out here. He's on the new, yes. he's on the new uh, Severance on, on, on Apple TV. John, what a beautiful day today. Did you get outside at all? Yes, I did. Very I, I... strange New York day. It was like 15 on Monday, and what was it, 65 or something in the city today? Yeah, yeah, it felt good. Good yeah. day to play pickup ball. <laughs> did you did you play any ball? No, there? I didn't. You did not, but it would have. <laughs> so you but... let this one go. This one got away from you. Yeah, this yeah. day got away from you. Do you know what I hear? You know what I hear? That uh, it's so warm in Vancouver right now, you could grow a palm tree up there. <laughs> Folks, I spent a lot of time right over there, combing through the day's news and carefully selecting the most pristine opalescent glass stories, ornately fusing the pieces using the most topical copper wire and lead casing before coloring them with the most pigment rich jokes available to construct for you and you alone the elegant stained glass Tiffany dome that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I jolt awake behind the wheel of a 79 Buick Regal Lowrider. <laughs> While doing donuts on the parking lot of a boarded up Joanne Fabrics, when I <laughs> clip a barrel fire and I'm thrown from the car into the dumpsters, there I rummage through the bits of broken Fanta bottles and glue them together with still warm chewing gum and stain them with whatever remnants I can scrape from old ketchup and fun dip packets. <laughs> then I douse my pants in kerosene and let her blaze to project the demented nightmare kaleidoscope of news that is my segment. Meanwhile, in honor of Valentine's Day, this week, sandwich chain Panera is giving away diamond rings in bread bowl boxes. So it is now officially easier to get a diamond ring from Panera than it is to get the bathroom code. <laughs> Meanwhile, actor and personal friend of mine, Patrick Wilson, hi, Patrick, surprised many people recently when he told an interviewer, I've eaten dog poop. And if you think that's weird, the question was, how are you? <laughs> Patrick, again, personal friend, hi, <laughs> made the surprising confession when an interviewer, for some reason, asked him, what's the worst thing you've put in your mouth? <laughs> and Wilson replied, I'm sure in my quest to pick up dog crap that I have licked the bag to open the bag, then it's on my hand, and I have dog in there, too. <laughs> Okay, I've been a dog owner for many years, and I have a lot of questions. First of all, quest to pick up dog crap? Are you then throwing yours into Mount Doom? Second, that's the worst thing you've ever put in your mouth? So you've never been to White Castle? <laughs> we'll talk about this later, Patrick. <laughs> Meanwhile, a Brooklyn bone collector has over 200 skeletons, spines, and skulls in his home. That is insane. There are apartments in Brooklyn big enough for 200 skeletons? <laughs> That's not... You can open the front door from the toilet. According to the bone man, his work is entirely above board, telling reporters, I only work with medical bones which is what doctors and osteologists use for studying. Most of the bones I acquire are passed down from doctors or medical professionals. Most of the bones? <laughs> That's not comforting. Oh, you know, most are from doctors. The others are from reporters who ask too many questions about where all my bones come from. Want some tea in my soundproof closet? <laughs> Meanwhile, the Idaho Potato Commission has launched a limited edition French fry scented perfume. <laughs> Perfect for anyone who's thought, I wish more people thought I worked at a Wendy's. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 